Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my January beauty obsessions. If you are new to my beauty obsessions, it's pretty much my favorites. So um, I know I'm a little bit late on putting this up for you guys. I do apologize for that. Uh, but I do have some really awesome things to talk about. So let's just dive right in. Alright, so the first products, hands down, you might already know if you follow me on like Instagram or Snapchat, <laughs> but I am so obsessed, you guys, with the new Wet n Wild products, especially the foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I am in the shade Porcelain, which is the lightest shade in the line. I did a full review and demonstration using a lot of new products. Definitely go check that video out. It has a little applicator that looks like that. Of course I am wearing this today on my skin and I just love how matte and comfortable it's lightweight. It doesn't break me out, thank god. <laughs> and it's just, it's, it's freaking awesome. I like to personally apply this with a beauty blender, um, make sure it's really damp and I just pound my face girl, I just pound it <laughs> and really press this into my skin and I just love it. Every time I wear it, it looks so pretty, so flawless. I'm obsessed. I need to get a backup already. You can actually find this in stores now. I've already seen it at Meyer. I've seen it at Kmart. You can find it everywhere now. Really great drugstore foundation. It's cruelty free vegan and it's amazing. I'm, I'm like so, so in love. Also, I really do like the Photo Focus Concealer, which is in the lightest shade, but this is a little bit too dark for me almost. It does match my skin tone pretty well. It just comes with a doe foot applicator like that. And I do like this. I'm not wearing it today, but I like the consistency. It's really creamy, but it's not too cakey. It's not too thick. It's not too drying. It sets really, really well and it lasts all day. So I usually put a little on my nose and underneath my eyes and that's it. I have tried putting this on my face and it actually made me break out. So there must be an ingredient in here that irritates my skin. My skin is super picky with concealers, but I can wear it underneath my eyes and I really like it. It has really nice coverage. I would say medium coverage. Again, cruelty free and vegan as well. And I've just been obsessed with both of these together. They're fabulous. All right, I do have one skincare product, which is new. It's something I've been testing out. This is from e.l.f. It is new from their whole line of new products that are coming out. This is one of their skincare products. This is the Hydrating Water Essence. As you can tell, I love this so much. I've used about that much of the bottle already, and I am so obsessed. I use this morning and night. Sometimes I don't use it like every single day, but I love this. It doesn't have a pump. I thought that this had a spray nozzle, but it just has a little hole there. And what I do is you can put this on a cotton pad, or I just pour it into my hand and then put it on my face. I don't know what it is, you guys, but this is amazing. I will definitely repurchase this whenever now. The next product here is probably no surprise to you guys. This is the Ludatic Cosmetic Labs Contour Palette. I have been so obsessed with this palette, you guys. I've been using it for contour, for eyeshadow. I'm not wearing it today, but <laughs> I really, really, really do love this palette so much. The packaging is so badass. I just, I love everything about this. It has a mirror. I did a full review and swatches and tutorial if you guys want to see this palette in action. Definitely check out that video for more information and I go more in depth. I wanted to mention some of my favorites. I really love this color here for contouring with. I usually will mix this, these two together and it's like the perfect cool tone contour shade. And I really love this blush here and this one here. And sometimes I'll mix them together. And it just, I love it. And everything is super matte, super blendable. I love that they also sell these individually. If I run out of my favorite shade, I can repurchase it and just pop it back in the palette. So that's pretty cool. So I've been just loving this. I haven't really, I don't know, it's so weird. Like every month when I try to pick my favorite eyeshadow palette, it's hard because I switch around so much. But this has been like my go-to lately. I just reach for it, use it on my face use it on my eyes. It's amazing. I love you so much. Mm. I have these two pigments right here. This was part of the Wet n Wild limited edition collection, I think for the holidays. But oh my goodness, you guys, I got these in Pennsylvania at a Kmart. Here's the packaging. I love this little flip top here because it prevents it from being so messy. I'm going to swatch both of them for you guys because you're just going to die. So this one is called Kung Fu Lightning. 
so there's that one swatched out it's like a really pretty like yellow gold it's a really pretty color you could probably even use this as a highlighter on your skin look at that isn't that beautiful and this one is really intense this one is called heart of rose gold wet and wild you are killing it seriously they are killing it right now oh please make these permanent i know they sometimes watch my videos please wet and wild make these pigments permanent so here's the swatch of the other one. This one is definitely more reflective and shiny than the other one, but oh my goodness. If anything, if you can find this one, get it. So good. I have three eyeliners here and these are from Essence. These are the Essence Gel Eyeliner Waterproof Pencils. Holy shit, you guys. These are amazing. I'm wearing the black one, which is called Black Blaze in my waterline. They don't irritate my eyes. I love the packaging because they are retractable. You don't have to sharpen them. I love wearing these in my waterline. They're so pigmented. They're so creamy and smooth. And then I also have this beautiful green color. This one is called Urban Jungle and then we have Cocoa Bean. These are just so creamy though and they last forever and they really are like waterproof. Like look at that. Super pigmented, long lasting. I think these are my new favorite eyeliners. I'm I'm converting to these ones. They're so, so good. All right, so moving on to some lip products. I have a lot of favorites this month, so I hope you guys are prepared. The first thing here is a treatment, and this is for Milani. The writing has worn off because I have hardcore, like this is almost gone. Like there is just a tiny, tiny bit left in the bottom. But this is their, what are they called? Like lip oils, it's like a lip treatment. And this is in the, this is number 04, which I think is called Grapefruit or pomegranate, I don't know, I forget. Oh, grapeseed oil, I think that's the flavor. But it just comes out like this, and it has this really big, huge, huge, huge doe foot applicator. I mean, look how ginormous that is. But it's almost like a massage. It hydrates your lips. I love to apply this before I go to bed or right after I exfoliate my lips. It's just so moisturizing, it feels so nice. It almost has the consistency of like a clear lip gloss, but it's hydrating. Like. Oh my goodness, it makes your lips juicy and healthy. I I just love it. it. Smells so good. Milani hit it on the park with that one. So I have a couple of my favorite go-to easy to wear lip products here that I've really been obsessed with. This one I don't know if I've mentioned before, but this is from Flower Beauty. And this is their Long Wear Lip Cream. And this is in the shade I'm Blushing. And I am so in love with this, you guys. I keep this in my purse all the time 24 7 i love it because it really does remind me of the Too face um liquid lipsticks the really squeezy ones that come out of the tube but oh my gosh this color is so pretty it's like that everyday pinky mauve that everyone can wear and they're just super creamy and hydrating there's a swatch right there oh, isn't that beautiful like they really are beautiful they're moisturizing it has like a nice creamy shine finish and I just love this. It's great to just throw on and go. I'm going to have so many swatches on my hand. And this one here is from Juice Beauty. And this came in my Petty Vore box, I think, a couple of months ago. This is their Luminous Lip Crayon. And this is a number 12 Malibu. Malibu. I think about that movie, Malibu. <laughs> Malibu is most wanted and with Jamie Kennedy. This is just a beautiful, like, peachy nude color. As you can tell, this has been well loved and it's just a twist up jumbo crayon and it smells good too. It smells like, I don't know, it just smells like makeup. I'm going to swatch it next to the other one. It's actually a very similar color, but this is just a really nice sheer peachy nude color. I love just putting this on when my lips are really dry. I was really shocked at how much I really love this and reach for it. It's so pretty, really pretty. All right, I have a lot of lipstick favorites, a lot of liquid to matte <laughs> lipstick favorites. So these ones right here are from Wet n Wild and these are the brand new Liquid Catsuit lipsticks. I did a full review and lip swatches if you guys wanna check that out. I will link it above here if you wanna click on it. But these two are definitely my favorite out of the four or five shades that I own. This one is in Give Me Mocha. It's a beautiful, really warm toned nude. This looks so pretty on my skin tone. I was really surprised. These are like long wearing, they're comfortable to wear. They're not too dry, but they can be dry after a while. But look at that color, isn't that pretty? 
That reminds me of that Kat Von D lipstick they came out the, for the Chims, like Project Chims. That looks very, very similar. I don't have that one, but it looks very, very close. And then this one is called Nudie Patootie. This is a beautiful, like, beige, taupe type nude. Oh my god, you guys. You guys know I love my sort of taupe colors. This is definitely for you if you like your taupe lipsticks. So there's Nudie Patootie. Love those. Those are really nice. They're pigmented. They're comfortable. You guys already know I've, I've raved about these already and they're really great. And these right here, hands down you guys, I think next to the Makeup Monsters liquid lipsticks, these are my second favorite. Like, it's kind of like tied two and two <laughs> with both of them. These are from Black Moon Cosmetics. I bought these during a sale they had during Black Friday and I'm so, so glad I got them because they are phenomenal. I'm wearing one today as we speak throughout this video. This one is called Purgatory and it is a deep purple. It almost looks black, but in the tube you can see that it does look purple. But these are super pigmented. They are long wearing, but they're comfortable. And what I like about these is that you can reapply and do touch-ups throughout the day. They smell, I'm not thrilled with the scent. It's almost like something sweet mixed in with like a little bit of a chemical scent. But it's not enough to like put me off from buying more. There's a new shade they just came out with that's called Bones. I think for my birthday, because my birthday's next month in March, I definitely want to get more of these. I have this new obsession with brown lipsticks and if you want a good brown lipstick, get grim. It is so freaking amazing. I am swatched up to the max right now. <laughs> so there is grim swatched out. It's the perfect like milk chocolatey brown color. I am just so in love with this formula you guys. It's so comfortable. If you want something that's really comfortable to wear on the lips, I definitely recommend checking out this brand. All right guys, so that was my January favorites. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. I will, of course, list all the products down below in the description box. Leave a comment and tell me what was your favorite product for January. I want to know. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and I post new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.